Hello, everyone. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, and thanks for joining us on this fine Thursday afternoon. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. The guard pair are Jones and Vassell. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. And it's Champagny in its small forward. And for Sacramento, Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. Ellis is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Sabonis in at the center, locking down the middle. And the Spurs start out with the ball. And we know, Greg, most of the talk coming into this game focused on the front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. And staying with the play, Sabonis. Yes, Sabonis making good use of his height and hustle there, playing on top of the defenders. Here's Vassell, and again, it's San Antonio with a three. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Ellis, the pass to Sabonis. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And with Sabonis, as his minutes have increased, so has his production. The, the future is bright for this young man. And Sabonis drops them both. San Antonio's gone 2 of 2 from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here's Champagny. Trains it from beyond the arc. Champagny's got six points. He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Here's Murray. And the rejection by Rembenyama! Here's Ellis. In transition, here comes San Antonio. On the wing, Jones. Three-pointer. Connects from three-point range. Jones. And that's another basket for him. They have really come out blazing here in the first. 11 feet away, and Fox gets it to go. He is a blur. I mean, Fox obviously skilled at breaking down the defense, coupled with his athleticism and size. Boy, he is a terror. Here's Sohan. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. When he's feeling good, he can help you stress the defense a lot. Now, here's Fox. To the paint. There's a bonus. A second chance effort. They shoot again. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. He has six. Getting inside, Sabonis finishes strong. You can see how comfortable he is shooting at that range. A shot by Champagny, no good. Here's Barnes, and the dunk by Barnes. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. And last season, Greg, the Kings clinched their first Pacific Division title in 20 years. And they repeated as division champs back in 02 and 03, something they're hoping to achieve again this year as the Kings build off of their breakout season. And Fox gets it to go. You get the sense Fox just improving with each game in terms of his pick and roll play, figuring out his angles, knowing when to pull and when to try to split or turn the corner. And again, three. it's San Antonio with a three. Three. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Barnes can't get it to go. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Sohan. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Kings trail by nine. Ellis, right side, uses the glass to finish the layup. Ellis! The Spurs have gone 7-9 from the field. Offensively for them. 
finding the most open guy. Good vision from Trey Jones out there. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. So the Kings called timeout. They're first. And Coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Completely new group on the floor for the King. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Pass to Herter. Mitchell dishes to McGee. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Pass to Osman. Fires from deep. Nailed from three-point land. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. <laughs> Both teams racking up the points to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Yeah. We're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now, here's Mitchell. From 12 feet out, again, Sacramento. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. And he drives in. Let's it go with a three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. A solid three-point shooter. Johnson makes the defense pay for giving him life. It's stolen by Johnson. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Here's Manu Kelishvili. Here's Osman. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more in sync. They've had better patience, better shot selection so far, but we still have a long way to go. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for San Antonio. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. And something else that's working for them is ball movement. A lot of their points so far have come as a result of smart plays. Backcourt pair is Fox and Monk. Barnes is in the front court along with Murray, and it's a bonus in at the five spot. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Kings. Wembanyama passes to Branham. The three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Now Monk. He has yet to score. Pass to Fox. The pass to Barnes. Clock at six. They get a bet. Second shot opportunity. The shot, no good. San Antonio leading by 16. Rembenyama, right side. Pass to Mamu Kalashvili. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. This one for three. Branham, good. Branham's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for San Antonio. 
for Sacramento. They've gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. And when you look at a player like Devin Vassell, his massive reach really stands out. GA, a young man with a near seven-foot wingspan. Combine that with his quickness, Vassell has potential to be a really remarkable defender. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Victor Wembanyama has studied all the greats and one in particular, Kobe Bryant. He says, I know all his stats and records, but mostly I admired his state of mind and his philosophy and his approach to the game. When I suffer, when I have a doubt, I wonder what Kobe would have done. And I know he would have done more, so I'm going back to it. Kevin? Thanks, David. Vassell, the pass to Wembanyama. He gets that ben one. Yama. When Banyama has got his second basket of the night. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And we hear so much about young players and veteran players, Steve, but when do you feel a player becomes a veteran? Is it after a year, two, three? Like, in your opinion, what is it? You know, Kevin, it, it differs for a lot of different reasons. But I think for myself, when you get that second contract, you feel like you belong in the league. Um, I think when you get over seven years in the league, that's kind of cut off to be seven years or more, you're definitely a vet. Ellis, he's checked in for Monk. And San Antonio also making a switch. Champagne's checked in. Love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. Here's Fox. And once again off the mark by Sacramento. San Antonio with the ball. A big stretch here going 10-2. Here's Wembanyama. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends. And you're seeing the results. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. Again, the miss by the Kings. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Champagne. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish. But they're tough to replicate. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Hey, Smitty, Malachi Branham isn't the most famous alum from his own high school. In fact, he's not even the most famous NBA player from his high school. Uh, Kevin, when you go to the same high school as LeBron James, that's going to be the case. Talk about it. Impressive alumni. And the Kings will go for a different look here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Sabonis. Trey Lyles comes in for Murray. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Harrison Barnes. And Davian Mitchell subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. Here's McGee. And the rejection by Wembenyama! And he uses the glass on the layup. Osman's got 10 points. Wesley. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is Two no longer there. In the first half. Two to end the cold streak. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. 151 left here in the second. To the right side. Here's Champagne, and again, Champagne. it's San Antonio with a three. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. And so it Kings looks like ball. the Kings will retain possession here. On defense, the Spurs. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Here's Herter again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. From downtown, a shot by Champagne, no good. 
The Kings shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. Mitchell on the corner. There's 57 seconds left in the first half. Shoots from 12. Off the mark. His first miss of the game. One for two. Down low. Ren Banyama gets the bucket. Ten points for him. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Mitchell passes to Lyles. And the dunk by Lyles. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. From past the arc, Barlow's shot is good. Barlow. Barlow's got himself three. going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And here's Herter. There's 10 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Just five on the clock. A three. And the rejection by Rambanyama. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. It's the Spurs opening up a huge gap. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what did you see in the first half? Uh, we had ball movement. You know, we weren't in mud. The guys were in attack mode. Nobody held the ball. You know, you pass, catch, or shoot. And we did that a lot in the first half. Yeah, you had them swiveling, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. I guess Shaq's not here today. If your name is Kenny the Jet Smith, raise your hand, please. There. And I'm Kevin Harlan. It was all about San Antonio as the game got going. An exceptional game plan helped them open with a 12-4 run. They came on extremely strong as the quarter was winding down, nailing all six of their last field goal attempts to close out the first. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? They scored very effectively. With the exception of ball movement and play calling, they were able to exploit multiple weaknesses in the defense. They've got to feel good about themselves running out to a huge lead. Shaq, how do you think Sacramento played? The shooting percentage they allow was through the roof. Their coach should absolutely be ripping into the defensive effort. They need to take some pride on the other end and just lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And it's Fox with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting in the second half. The guard pair are Jones and Vassell. Then it's Victor Wembenyama. And it's Barlow in at the power forward. Kings ball. Fox with it. Ellis outside. Here's Fox. There's the three. They grab their own miss. Second chance shot. He can't get that one to fall. And uh, San Antonio shooting a mind-boggling 79% off the floor. Barlow passes to Champagny. And again, it's just Spurs from deep. Man, he's been on point. Not forcing things. Getting the most of his looks within the flow. 
And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Olney. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Kings are still figuring everything out. De'Aaron and Fox said we're still learning each other. What we're doing offensively is great. We have to prove defensively, but that'll come with time and chemistry. DeMontis Sabonis added, it's just the beginning. The more we get a feel for each other, it's definitely going to get easier for us. Kevin? Yeah, a rising power. I think all of us on this broadcast agree with that. David, thank you. The Kings have gone one of three since starting the second half. Ellis outside. Back to Fox. Let's the three fly. A new 14 for the Kings. The kick out to Barnes. Collins grabs the miss. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Zoham, the pass to Champagny. There's the triple. Gets it to go Champagne. for bucket number eight. He's taken just 10 shots. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. That's tipped. It's stolen by Jones. And the ball out of play. The Kings will inbound. Malik Monk, he's checked in for the Kings. Spurs also with the sub. Johnson's checked in. Going inside. And it's Monk that time on the assist by Barnes. Monk's got his first points in this one. Jones against Fox. Johnson for three. Good on the triple. Kelvin Quick Johnson. shooting from Johnson. Three. Getting the drop on the defense. For Sacramento, they've gone two of six from the field here in the third. Jones against Fox. And he makes good on the lane. Fox has got nine. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Vassell, no good. For Sacramento, they've gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Fox, no good. San Antonio's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Collins Zach lays Collins. it up off the glass. The Great assist. pass from Devin. Devin He's all seven. about doing what's best for the team. Out to the right wing. Fox kicks to Monk. To the inside. The kick out to Fox. Monk against Vassell. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. And the Spurs making a change here. Bronham's checked in. Spurs have gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Collins, good. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Sacramento's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Here's Fox. He takes it in, and it's Fox with the jam. And just maybe the quickest player in the league. Fox can get to the bucket at will. Better bring some help when he's driving. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. And it goes down two points. Well, I think it's fair to say that Fox is in the zone right now. An exciting player to watch. I just love seeing how he can take over a game with his two aggressiveness. Minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. And it's so hand missing. Kings have gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. Here's Monk. Plays it up and banks it in. Monk's got four this quarter. Anytime Monk gets room to shoot, especially inside, he's such a crafty guard who you want to see pulling the trigger from inside. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. Fox goes in, and it's Fox with the jam. And one of the quickest players in basketball. Love watching Fox use that momentum to his advantage on the drive. Spurs passing it around. Vassell off target from outside. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. And how about Mark there scanning the floor for the open teammate? That's how you develop a trust from your teammates. 
high offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. The steal. Here's Vassell, and he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Hard finish right at the rim. Devin showing there's some edge to his game. Fox from outside. The rebound by the Spurs. Here's Branham. Offensive rebound. Johnson the pass to Collins. Here's Branham. Six points for him. Johnson, good. Johnson. What a night. Everything Boy, working for Keldon Johnson, making a major impact. San Antonio foul. San Antonio making a switch here. First personal foul. First team foul. Substituting on the court. Herder against Johnson. Knocked away. Now here's Herder. Five points in the game. To end the run. Off target with that shot. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. It's San Antonio just dominating this one. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Kevin Herter is out there with Trey Lyons. And it's Mitchell. And there's JaVale McGee. And it's Ellis at the two-guard spot. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. The tenacity on the interior. Just battling, bringing that effort and will for second-chance points. Here's Mitchell. Takes it off the glass. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. And it's Mamu Kalashvili missing. The King shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Fires from the line. And again, it's Sacramento converting. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Inside, here's Osman. Connects on the open chain. That's how you set the table, and everybody gets to eat. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Stripped it away. Here's Osman. Traps in the tray. Osman's got five points now in the quarter. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Spurs. Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball, quick hands, causing a lot of steals. And another thing they've really excelled at tonight is protecting the rim. Shooters keep getting their shots squatted away by this squad. That one drops for him. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. San Antonio foul. Both teams changing it up here. Second personal foul. First team foul. Substituting on the court. Here's Mitchell. Here's Vazenkov. Back to Mitchell. Now Wilds. Shot clock at six. Pass to Vazenkov. Now here's Herder. Here's the three. Rebound San Antonio. Wembanyama's got five rebounds tonight. Osman, the pass to Wembanyama. It's Victor good. Wembanyama. And that's 12 points for Victor Wembanyama. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Here's Mitchell. 
the putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Here's Champagny. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Wesley against Mitchell. And it's Mitchell with the jam. <laughs> he just bangs down the one-handed. Mm, two very easy points right here. Fires the three. Add another basket Julian to his impressive Champagne. total. It's his ninth against three 12 points. attempts. Uh, late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage. Grows their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. Poked away. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. San Antonio with the ball. Here's McGee and the slam dunk by McGee. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board and the bucket. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching staff, <laughs> too. My goodness. Passes to Champagny. To the middle. Ren Banyama gets the bucket. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. The Kings have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Here's McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Here's Mitchell, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Second team foul. And he makes the first. Sacramento making a switch here. Barnes is checked in. Spurs making a switch here. And Mitchell drops them both. And Collins has got the ball here for the San Antonio Spurs. Wesley the pass to Collins. And here is Wesley, covered by Lyles. Here's Osman. And again, it's the Spurs Jimmy from deep. Osman. Heavy Four incoming three. from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. Interesting approach coming down the stretch. Looking to rack up points in chunks. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Spurs. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. Trains the three-pointer. The assist there from Barnes. Over the years, he's got better and better making decisions with the ball in his hands. Here's Osman. And another basket for Kenny San Antonio. Austin. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Herter. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. On the heels of this run, you wonder where was this effort earlier on? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now? Or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? Jenny Bangs Austin. home the trifecta. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. McGee inside. Working on Collins. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that First time. The whistle foul. blowing. Oh, the Third officials team. are all over that one. First one falls for him. For two. JaVale McGee. So one for two that time at the stripe. San Antonio with the ball. Out to the right wing. Here's Osman. And again, it's Jenny San Antonio Austin. with a three. three. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. 
And so it's San Antonio, easily taking this one. That's the end of to the come game. into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight he says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't Please need home to get home cookies. safe. <laughs> just play at home, I mean, Kevin, yeah, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you later.